Okay, so today we're going to build a cone using pattern development. First of all, we'll draw a center line square to the sheet. And then we're going to draw half the cone to its actual dimensions. Using this super high quality homemade PVC marking gauge, we're going to mark the bottom of the cone. going to be 300 millimeters in diameter so 150 radius and it's going to be 100 millimeters tall. At the end of the video we'll roll the cone to see how accurate the dimensions come out. The top of the cone will be 150 mil diameter. For accuracy, I would usually use a finer tip pen, uh, but for video purposes, I'll just use this chunky blue one. And now mark through to get the apex point. These are my two scribing points for the top and the bottom of the cone. Just set the dividers or compass and mark the big radius for the bottom. Just chalk it so you can see it. And then mark the smaller radius for the top. This scribe line is exactly a quarter circumference of the cone. We can now divide it into three equal parts. If a quarter of the circumference has three equal spaces, then the full circumference will have 12 equal spaces. Mark 12 equal spaces. My circumference is a bit short, so I'll just extend it. Now we can strike a line from the last mark to the apex. So that's the cone marked, we just need to cut it out. Easy. Now we can bring the ends together on this piece of timber. And run a quick polypropylene weld down it. So the height should be 100. Smaller diameter should be 150. And the bigger diameter should be 300. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and see you next time.